Michael here with HCC Tactical. Today we're going to talk about um, the number one question we get asked when it comes to the Opscore amp headset, and that is which downlink cable do I need to use? So we're going to answer that today, but first we need to break that into two categories. The first category being first generation style headsets and second generation style headsets. So in the past, Opscore actually had their first generation headset. It was called the RAC headset, which stands for Rails Attached Communication System. It was literally mounted right to the back of the headset and had a fixed cable that came down and attached to their, their PTT systems. The entire system uses what they call an amphenol connection system. So it had an amphenol that came down from the headset and it plugged into an amphenol style PTT, which was called their modular PTTs. Our second generation headsets now is what we call the AMP headset, which is your adapted mission platform. Uh, that can be used with their new line of PTTs, which is the standard U94 PTT. We'll talk about all that in a minute. But uh, that's the biggest difference is that you have to know when you go to select your downlink cable is do you have the first generation or second generation style Opscore headset. Most everyone these days is gonna have the second generation, which is the AMP headset. All right guys, so when I mentioned first generation and second generation uh, headsets, so this would be the difference. On my left, you'll see is an Amphenol connector. This would be on your first generation RAC headset and the modular PTTs. On the right, you'll see the U174 downlink cable, and this is designed to plug into your new standard U94 NATO PTTs. All right, so if this was coming down from your original RAC headset, it would plug into a modular PTT, which would have a connector that looks, looks just like this here, all right? And uh, if you were looking at the PTT, instead of having the U94 hole, it would actually have the, the Amphenol port coming out like this. So this would be what your Gen 1 would look like. It would plug in and it would go to all your proprietary Amphenol connectors. All right, the Gen 2, which is the new design, which was what everybody mostly should have at this point. You would have your standard U94 PTT. This is the NATO style connector. It's gonna have an open port on the top and then it's gonna take the U174 down lead and it just goes straight in here and plugs in, push it in for a sealed watertight connection. So one frequent question that we get from a lot of operators is can they use their older RAC headset, their Gen 1 headset, with the newer U94 PTT systems? So the answer is yes, they can. So if we were looking at their RAC headset, this is what the downlead cable would look like. It would be the Amphenol port coming down, a male. And then we have an adapter cable here. It goes from a female Amphenol port to a male U174. So you would just simply connect those together and then you would plug this into the newer style U, uh, U94 PTT, plug it in, and now you can use all of the new U94 PTTs with your older style headset. The other question that we get is customers ask if they can use their new AMP headset if they had the older style Gen 2 modular PTTs. Remember I said the Gen 2 modular PTT is gonna look very similar to this, except it's gonna have a female Amphenol port coming out the end. It's a very simple problem to solve. All we do is we have a Fisher connector that goes to a male, a male Amphenol that plugs directly into your HAMP headset as a downlead cable. And then that'll allow you to configure it so that you can plug it in to the older modular PTTs. All right guys, so I hope that gives you a good understanding of the difference between Gen 1 and Gen 2 Ops Core communication systems. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the Gen 2 headset. This is the new AMP headset. It's what everybody's buying these days. Uh, it comes in two basic models. It's gonna come in a connectorized model, which means that all of your downlead cables can be connected to the ear cups, left or right. The fixed downlead model is gonna have a downlead cable connected to the left ear cup and it is not removable. The problem with that is that it only functions as a bineural downlead cable. You can never upgrade it to function as if with any of the other cables that we sell. So I'll briefly talk about now what that means when we talk about bineural, mononeural, um, ICS cable and the Amphenol cable which we've already talked about. So first cable again is going to be the binaural cable. This is going to be for anybody that's using a single PTT. So if you're using a single PTT for just single comms, you're always going to want the binaural cable. Because what the binaural cable means is that it's just going to plug into either ear cup, left or right, your choice. But whenever you key up your PTT, it is always going to come across both ear cups. So you're going to hear it in both your left and your right ear at the same time. So that's the binaural cable. And again, all of the Gen 2 cables are gonna be designed to work with your U94 standard NATO PTT. 
It doesn't have to be an Opscore brand. It can be any of the brands that are out there. However, I will say that once you get into the specifics of the mononeural cables, the stereophonic cables, um, they are designed to specifically work with Opscore PTTs. That's how they've been tested, okay? So the next one that we're gonna talk about is when we started getting into dual comms. So we're gonna run multiple PTTs or multiple radios in different configurations. Typically when we do this, we wanna split out the communications to have one ear cup here, one communication, the other ear cup here, the other communication. This is gonna be done with another cable. It looks just like the bineural cable, but it's actually wired differently on the inside. And it's called the mononeural cable. The way the mononeural cable is gonna work is it's whatever ear cup you plug it into, that's the only ear that's gonna hear that transmission. So you can set up true dual communications like whether you're talking to air division, ground division, you can have that split up so that air's on the left, ground's on the right, vice versa, however you wanna do that, team A, team B. Um, and that can be done in a couple ways. So you can run a single PTT on both sides of your chest. So you can have you know, a single PTT that looks just like this, have one here, one here, have a mononeural cable running up to your left and your right ear. So when you key up the left side, you only get left. When you key up the right side, you only get right. The other option is to use a cable called a stereophonic cable. So the stereophonic cable is very similar. It looks, again, just like all the other cables except it's gonna allow you to plug one cable into your headset, the other end plugs into a U94 dual PTT. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it when you key up the A button on the PTT, you're only gonna hear sound on the left ear cup. When you key up the B button, you're only gonna hear sound on the right ear cup. So it gives you true split comms capability with one cable instead of two cables. That's what stereo font does for you. The other one that we have is gonna be our ICS cable. So the ICS cable allows you to plug your amp headset into an intercom system on a fixed or rotary system. Uh, it's gonna drop your impedance down to five ohms and that's gonna allow it to operate on that intercom uh, like it needs to. The last one that we, uh, we briefly talked about already is your Amphenol down lead. Your Amphenol down lead again is just gonna plug into your headset. It's gonna allow you to attach to the, the Gen 2 modular PTTs and just be aware that this cable, the Amphenol cable, functions just like a bineural cable does. So one thing that I did fail to mention is on the Opscore amp headset, it does have the connector ports on both ear cups for the downlink cable. That does give you the ability where you can run multiple types of cables at the same time. So if you had two single PTTs, you could actually, if you wanted to, run two bineural cables. So every time you key up either PTT, you could hear it on both ears or you could do one mononeural, one bineural. Um, you could actually run two stereophonic cables, one to each ear, go into two dual PTTs, and if, conditionally, I mean, you could run four, four radios, which uh, it's probably not many people are gonna do that, but you could do it. So uh, that's kind of our rundown on the Opscore first and second generation communication systems, how the different downlink cables work together um, if you have any other questions, please leave us a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel to get uh, new videos that we're going to be releasing. We're going to try to send out new videos as often as possible for upgrades to products, uh, issues that we see with products. And uh, our next video is specifically going to be on the Opscore PTTs, the different PTTs that we offer and how they work together. Stay safe out there and we'll see you next time. All right, Michael here with HCC Tactical. Just wanted to go through one of, see, I'm already looking over at my board. <laughs> you I, want me to hold it up here? <laughs> it was stuck to the thing. You really can't take it's, it off. It's like glued on there. That's all this stuff. I didn't see stuck yet. I just know it's over. <laughs> hey guys, this is Michael with HCC Tactical. Uh, thanks for joining. <laughs> okay guys, so I hope that gives you a good understanding of the difference between <laughs> I'm already smiling like a possum <laughs> eating shit. I'm like, Ugh. So one thing that I did fail to mention is because on the connectorized system, you can plug it into either, <laughs> either, either. <laughs> Stay tuned for our uh, next videos where we'll talk more in detail about the Opscore PTTs, the different ones that we sell and how they work. And then also we'll be talking about not looking to the right when you're having a video <laughs> on yourself. <laughs> Just drool.
was like, what was I even gonna say? <laughs> Stay tuned, uh, I don't have it. <laughs>